Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where I've got a different hammer. I uh, noticed I could upgrade my war hammer and then I could upgrade it again into this thing. So yeah, I've got like 50% more raw and a tiny, tiny sliver of green sharp. So that's nice. Hard tack into meat worked out for me last time, so let's see how that works this time. Good, good. So, it seems grain and meat gets me defense up. And... How do I... That's the comrade board, but I want the... This board. Um... So, meat and bran, so... Good. Meat and Bran is good chances of activating skills, too. Okay, let's go see what we want to do this time. Home. Maybe this. This would be too easy. Eh, I'm not really up on the idea of fighting a Cephadrome in this game. Because they were always just annoying to me. But, I mean... Hey, it's here. Like, I've got so many memories of... Basically... Spending half the quest just running from one side of an area to the other, trying to chase it down, when it's doing everything in its power to stay as far away from me as possible. Which is generally not a fun time. So, this is the Gen 2 desert, which is why I took a map. We're at the Gen 1 desert, the old desert in this game, since that's what the dunes was a modified version of, I feel like I would at least have a pretty good idea of how everything fit together. But here, I am almost completely lost. Though I do know we can take a shortcut down to six, but I'm sure our quarry is either in two or five, so we'll check two first. Okay, so it's going to be in five. So, here we go, over to six. And while we're here, we may as well go mining. Because we do need a lot of things in order to upgrade this hammer again. And wow, that was nothing. Yep, here we go. There's our prey. It always amused me that despite its size, this thing is on the same monster tier as Kutku. this thing back out of the freaking sand. Well, at least we can keep the camera on it. That'll alleviate one concern. Yeah, this is how I remember the fight going. Oh, good. I was worried that might have been too far. That's right, these things have brick wall hitboxes on the tail spins. Yeah, 
Yeah, no thanks on the hip checks, buddy. And unfortunately, our green just does not last long enough to make it worth sharpening. Ow. Get KO'd, please. That is not getting KO'd. Those are potions. Okay. Here we go. And once again. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. Not much feels better than wailing on the face of a monster. Though when you bounce off it for mysterious reasons, it's less fun. I don't think his face was actually breakable in this game. In fact, I think in this game it was only his fin. But I could be wrong about that. Where you going, buddy? Don't, don't. Nice one. Well, that didn't work in my favor. No, sir. Oh, and look, it's back in the sand, and then it's back out of the sand. And then it's back in the sand. Whoa there, buddy. Oh, his fin is down. That means he's almost dead, right? Where are you going? Cephadrome? Well, I can't dodge anymore. Oh, are you leaving? Yeah, okay. So you went to nine, I guess? That's what it looked like. Though I don't know that it actually can go to nine. Maybe it went to seven? I honestly have no idea. Uh, no, it's not in here, and I know it can't be an eight, because I'm pretty sure that's Cat Town. I should have painted it. I should also get my bearings. Hmm. Can it actually go anywhere other than five and two? I don't know that it can. Well, let's head over to two. Maybe it can be in one, but... Also, what the hell is one doing so far from the base camp? Like... It really bugs me how they, uh... Decided what numbers to put where on the old maps. Like, I would have put two as one. And then, you know... Other things in other places. But hey, I didn't make it. Okay, so it sleeps here. And since it's sleeping, let's actually make use of the trap and tranks they've given us. Why not end this earlier? What? Was it not weak enough? Did I let it sleep for too long? I guess I must have. Oh, don't. Don't be in the sand. You freaking jerk. Get out of the sand. 
this isn't helping. I need to actually try and be somewhere I can see it. Hold still. That is not holding still. Hold still or get out of the sand. gotta do me like this. I did not mean to do that. Fish. This is why I don't like fighting you in Freedom Unite. I hope you know that. Actually, it's probably because he knows it. Oh, good. He's out of the sand. Watch him go right back in. Ooh, or not. Try a thing, buddy. Good thing. I am not sad to be done with this. Watch this Apsaros interrupt my carving. Oh, and by the way, in this game, Cephadrome doesn't have any unique carves. It's all Cephalos stuff. At least as far as I'm aware. Maybe he does actually have some unique things. I know in For You it was also he mostly had Cephalos stuff with one unique thing. Maybe it's the same. Also, why did I get a freaking Piscean liver from him? That annoys me. I came here to get, well, to get the quest clear mostly, but also to get monster parts. Stuff I could actually take home. Carving an account item off of a large monster just doesn't sit right with me, you know? Unless I'm in a treasure hunt quest, in which case that's literally what's supposed to happen. I'm glad these guys have been so inept at stopping me from gathering there. Like, they were trying, bless their hearts, but they just couldn't quite do it. Okay. I guess maybe the paralysis sack can't be gotten from the regular cephalos. But that's just a guess. And you know what? Since that was sub 10 minutes, I think I'm going to also do the gendrome. Which means I'm also going to do the farm. But whatever. Plenty of not blue mushrooms. I really wish I could make it more likely to give me blue mushrooms. That would be nice. Because blue mushrooms are the ones I kind of want. Also nitro shrooms for later, but blue mushrooms for now. I didn't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. I, I just want bugs. Or spider webs. Those are good too. Can I get some dung today? I can. Getting rid of all this stuff. Okay. Yep, that ought to be fine. So now, Gendrome time. And I'm guessing that Gendrome will probably be my last key quest here. So, 
That would be nice. Of course, I wouldn't want to do the next urgent until I'm in some better gear. Because, you know, six defense, turns out, isn't the highest number you can have. In fact, it is quite the opposite. Provided you're wearing armor in the first place. Maybe it was that I was missing the Cephadrome with the Tranks that time. That's possible. I was kind of between his legs. So maybe they were just going right out the back of him. So I'm thinking Gendrome will start in like two or one. Maybe five. I need to... Is there any way to make the camera start one tier higher? I know you could do that and try. But it looks like there's nothing for that in these options. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, hey. It's you. Hi. You're a small one. Then again, you're probably all small ones, really. Oh, boy. Did one of those cephaloses just have a you've been spotted icon over its head? Like, it had the question mark that's normally associated with a monster spotting you. Does, does this game treat Cephalos as large monsters? Or, or is that somehow a Cephadrome hanging out here? Oh boy. I do not like fighting these guys in this generation with this weapon. Or any weapon. Like... Honestly, they're too jumpy. Give me a great baggie over a Gendrome any day. They've got roughly similar niches. They're both uh, raptorial bird wyverns who have a means of immobilizing their targets. But one isn't a hoppy little jerk with only, like, three attack animations. <laughs> like, seriously, this guy can jump, he can turn, he can bite. Can he do anything else? And the turn isn't even a, an attack. It's just jump and bite. Really? You're just going straight through here? Little jerk. Oh, but now you're behind me. Was that your plan all along? Whoa there. Okay. I would love to knock this jerk out. Keep him at least relatively still. Oh, or killing him. That also keeps him still. I think I'll, I'll take killing him. That That is, uh... That's totally fine by me. Gotta get my two carves. And then there's a bug spot for me, so I'll get some bugs. Who knows whether they'll be useful, but... They will be bugs. Or insect husks. Is that seriously it? Guess so. Oh, 
Well, may as well gather some herbs and other plants. Eh, maybe this will unlock an urgent. That would be interesting. Though, I think I would do some cutku farming off camera if it did, in fact, unlock an urgent. Because, again, I want to have better gear before I go on to three star. Want to be able to take more than, like, two hits from a Gendrome. Because his bite towards the end there actually did a pretty substantial amount of damage to me. Certainly more than I would have uh, expected from a Gendrum bite, but whatever. So, let's just see. Eh, looks like, nope, no urgent unlocked. I still may or may not do some uh, grinding for Kutku off camera, but we'll see. So, what would be... Maybe Blangos. Or maybe mushrooms or livers or something. I'll have to look. And in the next episode, you may or may not see me in better gear. I can't tell you right now. Depends whether the mood strikes me or not. But what I can say is that you'll see me doing another quest, and it'll be, you know, th after this episode, because this one's over. So yeah, see you then, friends.